Hi, Chelsea Green. Hello. Are you a new subscriber? I'm trying to do this without warning, without putting it on my um, community post to see if um, how many people will come in. I see three people. Okay. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my journey. I hope you've been able to catch up on the content to kind of know kind of like what's going on. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up, whoever did that. Okay, it's five people now. Um, I hope you've been able to follow my journey, anybody that's new here. Um, I did go to court today, so I kind of wanted to give an update. I'm just going to see how many people will come in. So, oh, Good news, good news. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, you did watch my videos. Thank you for supporting me. So if you've been watching my videos, you know I went to court today. I got nothing but good news. I got a video that I do want to put out um, on Premiere that's special to me. It's been sitting in my queue for like, I want to say, two months on private. And I feel like I can release that video now. But I want to release another video before that. Um, I want to release another video before that so I can do it in um, sequence. Because I don't want people to be like, okay... If you release this video first, I'm kind of confused as to why the other video. So I don't want it to seem like it's old video. So I'm going to place, so it's probably be like in the next two weeks that I'll, replace, I'll, I'll put out the special video. So I kind of want to go over uh, what happened in court today and what their, ooh, that child's father of mine, child. I'm going to need him to get it together. Somebody needs to smack him in the back of his head. Because, child. He's way too old to be doing the stuff that he be doing. I see 11 people. Who's on here? I had to make me a ghetto setup. But we all do it when we starting off. <sighs> Hello, everyone. I see nine people. I want to talk, but I want to know who's here that are supporters and who's just who's here in general. Because I don't know who's watching. There might be a hater reactor waiting to react, so they're in the bushes. So if y'all can let me know who. Or say hello or something, that'd be great. And this is my first time going, hello, Lexis, hi. Because I know reactors be trying to be on some bull crap, so I'm trying to make sure it's supporters that are here. So if y'all could just say hello or something, hit the like button. I see one like, eight people. Let me know when y'all ready for me to tell what's going on. Yes, I am excited and I'm very happy. Hi, Vicky Brandon, hello. Hi, Cynthia Smalls, hello. Hi, Kim Murthy. Hello. I'm a very humble person. I try to say hi to everybody. Hi, your ride or die. Yes, good news, good news. <laughs> hi, Mara Atia. Hello, Ease Life. Hello. Yes, I'm ready to talk. I just want to see. Um, Maybe we can get to 18 or something. Thank you, Desiree. God bless you as well. I have very, very, very good news. I'm just so excited. Like, I can shout. <laughs> so, so, let's get started. All right, so, oh, thank you. I'm glad it was able to do that. I'm glad it was able to do that. So, um, yes, um, yes, please hit that like button. So, all right, we went to court this morning, and, um, Everybody's on the same page. My attorney, the guardian Melitum, everybody. So the guardian Melitum called me last night and she was like, let me tell you. Um, she was like, let me tell you um, what is going on and what we're going to suggest. She was like, I want the baby to do in-home visits. 
and it, they want me to get more visitation. See, the children's services down here where I live at is very, very short staffed. But I don't have any bad reports as to how the visits were going at the visitation center at all. And so since that is a good thing and they don't believe the um, they don't believe the psyche vow either. So um, today I had to sign over. It's not a bad thing. I thought it was because when I walked in there, I was puzzled like, huh? huh? When I was doing a counsel with my attorney. And he was like, you're looking like you never heard this before. And I was like, I never have. So he was like, what we were going to do is sign, get, have you sign to take the, for us to take the baby into temporary custody. And I got a little scared when I heard it. Like, hold on, what you asking me to do? He was like, well, we don't, none of us believe the psyche vow, but it won't be talked about if you sign over temporary custody and want to do the, uh, like the parenting, the intensive parenting classes, but the intensive parenting classes will be in my home. So basically baby Ezekiel will be coming home three times a week in my home for three hours a piece until the intensive parenting class opens up and then it'll turn into him coming home basically. So, um, but it's not going to happen right at this moment because children's services is very short staffed. But I have to find somebody who wants to come and be in my home for three hours. Thank you, Amy Landry, who wants to be in my home for three hours. Um, they don't. They won't let my child's father do it because they want it to be like a um, a neutral person. Like they know my child's father gonna be like, yeah, she's straight, she good, she. So they don't want him to watch me for the three hours that I'm gonna have him in my home for three hours, three times a week. So that's gonna be nine hours. And so um, the judge ruled and was like, that's fine. I mean, I did have to sign over temporary custody because he was still under emergency uh, custody. Yeah, it does make sense. At first I was like, why come he can't, he the father? But it was like, we want somebody that's neutral to watch you during the visits at home. We don't want somebody that's just going to be like, yeah, she good just to get the baby home. So they want somebody neutral to watch me for the three hours in the home. Yeah, so I am so excited. <laughs> He can get used to his bassinet over there. That's his bassinet playpen combo. He has all these boxes of diapers. So he got diapers galore and wipes. He has clothes. He has everything. Bottles. And make his bottle. Um, I can make his bottles the night before and put them in the refrigerator. And when he come, all I got to do is put the bottle on a, and some hot water on the stove and warm it up and feed him. Yes, I'm very excited. So he's coming home and everybody is just like, oh my God, I've never seen a mother put so much effort towards getting her child back. And we want to see you get your child back. And everything on the psyche vow was based off of the past and it didn't need to be brought up. So, and I got good reports as to how, um, the visits have been going at the visitation center. So I'm actually doing good. I'm so happy. Yes. He will be able to smell me. Yes. God is good, Cynthia. I'm so happy my face is like tingling all over. Man. Yes. So, um, it's just not going to happen right at this moment because of children's services being short staffed. So, she says she needs about um, a few weeks. Thank you. <laughs> she needs about a few weeks um, to figure out who's going to do what. Now, my guard the guardian will light them for the baby. She came to the visit today. And, um, she came to the visit today and when she got there, he was asleep and, um, she was like, you were just so good with him hands on and I love to see it. And, um, she's just for everything. She's like, I don't care. I want to, I want to go to your house and monitor you with the baby. And I, from what I'm understanding, guardian items can do that. But my social worker was telling her, um, I don't want you to get in trouble because you're a lawyer. You're actually a lawyer for the baby. But the guardian of tells what's in the best interest of the baby. So they actually can watch me with the baby. So they're just trying to figure that out. And that is so sweet. Your son will be spending time with his family. And that's awesome. Congratulations on getting your baby back into your custody. God is so ready. Yes, amen. When I get off this live, I'm about to be crying. Like, seriously. Yes, it is working out. I'm so happy. I don't even, I'm so happy I could cry right now. I just have to be patient. 
So they're not. So what? Also, what the guardian litem did say? She said, um, she was like, we don't want, we don't want. Um, she said, we don't want you to have to wait because there's a waiting list. Thank you, Lexis. Yeah, I'm probably am gonna cry because I'm just so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. She said, um, what was I saying? She said that um, we don't want you to wait because there's a waiting list to get into the intensive parenting program. And by them being an intensive parenting program and being an in-home program where they do hands-on with my baby, with me teaching me parenting in the home, she didn't want me to wait on that long wait list and have him out of my custody for that long. So since it's going to be in-home and intensive anyway, he might as well come home for in-home visits. And so, yes, thank you. <laughs> and so, um, basically, it's just going to go for three hours, three days a week, and then it'll turn into overnight. So, yeah, I'm just kind of bummed they won't. I'm just, ugh. So, I got to make some calls to see who can personally watch me. Yes, tears of joy. Yeah. When will it start? Um, My social worker, she's awesome. Zia Moore, she said that, um, she said, just give me a minute. I know you're excited and you want to do it now, but I have to see who can watch the visit with the baby at your home. So, basically... The two visits I get a week at the visitation center were turning to being at my house. And then I get an extra day, like a third day. But as you all know, like working at Children's Services is emotional. So people probably done quit it, started working there and quit early and everything. So like they're short staffed. So that's why the, the guardian Melitum loves me to death. She's like, I, that's why I want to... Um, supervise the visit myself because I just want you to bond with your baby. So yeah, I'm not sure when it's going to start. I just, I don't know. I have to be patient. It may be a week, it may be two weeks, it may be three weeks, but until then I still get to see him for the two days out of the weeks that I do see him until they turn it from the center to my house. So, and then Diamora, she does supervise visits, which is my my social worker, but she said that, um, she was like, I be so busy with other visits and other things that I'm, I'm not, I don't want to promise you. And then I can't do something. Yes. I hope so. I was kind of confused when they was asking me to sign over temporary custody. I was like, what do you mean? Ain't he coming home? He about to come home for home visits. What's the use of that? And they was like, well, he's still under emergency custody. So we have to switch it from emergency to temporary while you do this case plan. And also the reason why I signed it is because they said that if I didn't sign it, it would have, basically when I signed it, I was wavering my right to trial. And I don't want to go to trial because if I go to trial, that bull crap that they said in the psyche vial would come out and they'd have to fight over it. And possibly the guy that did my psyche vial would come and um, they they would basically battle over it. And they could, I could permanently lose my baby based off of the past. And some of that stuff is not true. They basically played me on the psyche vial. So to not have the psyche vial busted open all over court, I decided to give them temporary custody and go ahead and let me start the home visits instead. Hey, Taylor Maid. Yeah, it can be scary. And he... It can be scary. Because he was like... If you don't waiver your right to trial, what's going to happen is it's going to be a trial where they take the psyche vial, which nobody believes it. And if they take the psyche vial, it's going to be busted up, open all over court, and then you'll be back in a strong fight again. And I don't want to go through that. I just want, I'm basically bowing down saying, okay, I'll do the parenting class and do the, you know. Yes, wisdom. Yep. I didn't want to make it harder. I wanted to make it easier. Oh, have I? I'm glad I've been on your mind, y'all. I'm just so happy right now. And I'm still, even though I'm telling what's going on right here on the live, I'm still going to post them videos for those that weren't able to join in. Yeah, it should not have happened. And it's so weird because everybody's saying the same thing about me. Like, they have a positive outlook on me. They can tell that I'm a go-getter. They want to see, they... Thank you. They want to see me get my baby back. 
because they can tell what type of parent I am when they watch me at the visitation center. I've and they said they didn't have, they've never had to redirect me or anything during a visitation. They didn't have to tell me, "Hey, do this right, hey, do this wrong." Like the other day he had a blowout and I had to take him to the changing table because it was so messy and he, it was all up his back. So I took him to the changing table, wiped him down. He screamed and hollered, but I don't get frustrated with a baby. So I wiped him down with a wipe. He don't like cold wipes. So I'm going to get him a wipe warmer or whatever for when he comes home. And, you know, work with that. And so they watch for that type of stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Speaking of him, he tried to get out of them parenting classes today. Um, yeah, I'm not a novice. I have an 18 and 17 year old and a 15 year old. And this is not my first rodeo, my second rodeo, or my third. It's my fourth. And I cared for them when they were newborns. They weren't removed from me until they were toddlers. So I know what to do with a newborn all the way. <laughs> all the way. Yeah, so... We were at, so let me tell y'all how he tried to slot out these parenting classes. We were at the, um, so after the court hearing, my social worker wanted to talk to me. And so we go in this room and we're talking and she's basically like trapping him into parenting class because he needs it. He needs it. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to make that Amazon list. I'm definitely going to make that Amazon list. Um, and, um. She was like, Dad, I need you to take parenting classes as a plan B. Mom is plan A, but I need you to be plan B. Should it go left? Y'all know he sat up there and said, okay, I can do that. And then was like, let's just wait because, you know, I got obligations with, with my other three. And one of them is my 15-year-old. And I was like, I wanted to say, boy, if you don't stop using them kids as a crutch to get out of something... I was ready to pop him upside his face, talking about some, let's just wait. No, let's not wait. You need a parenting class, and you keep talking about how you don't like to hold babies and newborns and because they so little, but you're doing it at the visitation center. My baby is the first baby who he's, like, really held and bonded with like that out of all his kids. And so it was just crazy because he tried to slide up out of that. And I was looking at him like, hold on. And so my social worker broke it down to him. And he he kind of succumbed to it. She was like, what I'm not going to do is if something happened with the mother, put this baby in foster care when I know the father is alive and well. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> and he, and she was like, but once you, she was like, but once you sign this, it's legally binding, meaning his parenting class is going to be less intense than mine. His is going to be six weeks. I don't know how long mine is going to be, but it's going to be in-home and intensive with the baby doing in-home visits. But she was like, you know, it's six weeks, and if you miss three visits, it's not going to look good on you in court. And he tried to slide up out at that right moment. And I was like, nope, you need parenting class. Because, you know, he had the nerve to tell me to my face, this is your fault but my son. Okay, I'll give you that. You you can have that. But in the same token, you laid down here and made this baby with me. What you thought this was? Just like when I before I had him, he told me, he was like, you're not going to give this baby my last name. Yes, the fuck I'm is. You did that to all your other baby moms. You're not going to do me like that. And you laid on me on top, on purpose. You're not. So I did exactly what he didn't want me to do and gave the baby his last name. I'm not giving the baby my last name because my last name don't belong to me. It belongs to a woman who beat the hell out of me and abused me. And I'm not giving my baby. I'm not. That name don't deserve to be carried on. Yeah. Oh, hi, Miss Sexy Ray. Yeah, he act like that. But, you know, my tubes is tied, so I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> my, I tied my tubes. So I can't have no more even if I wanted to. So that won't be happening. And so, like, yeah, he tried to do me like he did his other baby mamas. And I was like, uh, I'm not one of them. I'm not none of them. I'm, I'm not one of them. I'm one of those. And you're going to, I'm going to do exactly what you tell me not to do. This baby going to have your last name. My baby will be the first child of yours that has your last name. Because I'm not going to let you talk me into, and then these dummies, I'm a dummy too, but I'm going to just say it. These dummies. Had one baby by him. You let him talk you into not giving the baby your la his last name, but give the baby your last name. And then you turned around and had a second kid by him and let him talk you out of giving the baby his last name 
a second time. Like you let you let him do that. And so like with my first baby, he wasn't around for my first child. I didn't I got pregnant and I basically tried to get rid of, you know, her and um I ended up carrying her. And the only reason why I told him that I had a baby by him when she was four years old was because um the courts wanted DNA tests when they first took took them when 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 they were toddlers. And that's the only reason why he knows about her. If that had not have happened, probably still to this day, I probably wouldn't have my second child by him and I probably wouldn't uh he probably wouldn't know about her. But I went ahead and told him about her and he he tried to lay up with me some months ago, and I was like, um, I'm not laying with you unless you get our other daughter. I'm not laying with a man, and I know our daughter is somewhere else, but you want to lay with me, but our child is somewhere else. We're not doing that. So he went on ahead and took her and got custody of her, and now I get to see her every weekend. And then now we got the second child, and I was like, oh, no. Nah. This baby going to have your last name. We're not doing that. I'm not none of them other baby moms. I, I, I walk my own path, and I don't let a nigga talk me into stuff. Yeah, Cause he was like, "No, you're not gonna. Don't none of my kids got my last name." I said, "Well, this one will be the first one, buddy." And the baby got his last name. And I got um, my DNA results. They over there. They fell on the floor, but it say ninety nine point ninety nine. So yeah, he's carrying your name rightfully. And I made him go down and with me to the birth certificate spot. I made him go down to the birth certificate spot. And sign, yep, exactly, Cynthia, 99.9, and that's exactly what it say. I made him go down and sign the affidavit himself. I said, you're not, I said, I don't give a damn if Children's Services made you um, do a DNA test. Um, you're not going to let the state make you sign the birth, put, put your name on a birth certificate. You're going to acknowledge your son with your own handwriting. So he was like, okay, all right, all right. And we rolled down there. I don't know why the other baby mama, and they older than me. My baby dad is 50. I'm 37. Ain't no way I got more sense than these older women to make this man sign the affidavit for his child. He, If the state put the name on there and did the DNA test for your children and the state put the name on there, that's sad. I made him do his signature on his own. I said, don't wait for the state to do it. We're going to go down here and do it together. And he did. And come to find out, with my oldest daughter that I got by him, who's 15, he got he put his wrong name on her birth certificate on purpose. And I said, oh, we're going to court to fix that because if something happened to you, she going to get benefits and Ezekiel going to get benefits. I don't care about the other baby moms and their kids. That's their dumb self. That mean all of them, hey, y'all going to love us. That mean they dumb self got the wrong name on it. That means all his baby moms got the wrong name on a birth certificate for him. So when he passed away, my two children will be the only two to get benefits. How dumb is these women and they older than me? I'm 37 and they in their fifties. So yeah, I made sure mine was taken care of. Yeah. They was listening to him. He told them, don't get a baby. My last name. Yeah. He told them, don't get, he said, don't, none of my kids got my last name. I said, oh, well, mine's going to be the first one. I'm not playing around with you. I, I'm not, no. Oh, yeah, with the E-X-I-K-I-A-L, yes. I, my daughter actually came up with that because I was like, we were going to go with the Bible spelling. And you know what's crazy? His daddy named him. His daddy gave him that name. It's Ezekiel, but it's spelled E-X-I apostrophe K-I-A-L. Instead of like the Bible way, E-Z-E-K-I-E-L. It's not spelled like the Bible. Yeah, he talk about it like he proud of it. And then something else he brag about, he be like, no, none of my baby moms. They, some of them got them on child support and they just left them alone and never messed with them ever again. But he be like, my baby moms don't, uh... Yeah, because he don't want to pay child support, and that's why the name is wrong on all their birth certificates. You, I said, you a dummy. When we got back in the car, I said, you a dummy. You didn't think about what you was doing to your children? I said, you got your your name as 
a T at the end, so and it don't match your social. So now they're not going to get death benefits if something ever happened to you. I made him go down there and sign it with the correct name. And I called the birth certificate place to call and ask how his name is spelled on his birth certificate just to make sure. Because his name was Demont, D-E-M-O-N-T, but it's actually D-E-M-O-N-D. So I was like, um, I called the birth certificate place. I said, um... How is um, his name spelled? They asked me for his birthday, his mom's name. I gave him all that. And they said it's actually D-E-M-O-N-D, -E not T. I said, oh, well, why the hell is it, is it a T on my oldest daughter birth certificate? But it's correct on my son's. I said, oh, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix that. I said, we about to go to court and fix that. That way, when you pass away, both my kids benefit. Yeah, the wrong name. And some people are saying it don't matter as long as his social is correct. But, uh, I don't care. Everything got to be right. You're going to do it right for mine. Whatever you did with them other women, if your name is wrong on all their kids, birth certificate, that's their motherfucking problem. And that's their dumbass fought for laying with you twice and making the same mistake twice. I, I made this, I made a mistake twice with him, but not all the way. I made sure everything else was correct. Mm -hmm. mine's gonna be straight and that's all I gotta worry about but see these dummies that went and had babies by him um, consensually a second time they don't even know what they in for cause when he passed away your child won't get anything only my two children will be the only two to get anything because I made sure it was correct like, like I see on TikTok, these girls be talking about, don't never let your baby dad sign the birth certificate. It'll give him rights. Okay, and he need to have rights. I ain't, I ain't bring him here by myself. Why you lay with him if you don't want him on a birth certificate? What was the point? My baby dad got his flaws, but you, I'm not going to slip you out of your, your responsibility. I don't care how flawed you are. I'm going to give you your rights. Oh, tell who what? Tell who what? Oh, the quick rundown of the good news. Um, the baby's coming home for in-home visits. So it'll be, um, it'll be three days a week for three hours, and then it'll increase to four hours three days a week, and then it'll turn into overnight until he comes home. So that's the good news. But I don't know when it's going to start. It could be next week. Could it be the week after? It could be a month from now because Children's Services is um, um, short-staffed. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to tell them that because you know why, uh, Kyrie? I'm not, or Kyrie, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm, I'm not going to tell the other children's mothers that because they're old enough to know better. They're, my baby dad is 49, soon to be 50 this summer in July. And the one baby mom, she's 51. Or 50 and you're too old not to be knowing what to do when I'm younger than you so whatever fault they had their their mistake you turned around and then she had a nerd to want to reach out to me one of them had a nerd to want to reach out to me to tell me I just want to talk to you and tell you how he's no good for you okay I'm making the same mistake you made twice but I'm making sure wherever I can go wrong further than that I don't do it I'm not no so I don't need you to tell me how he's not good for me, how I don't need to be with him. Because when you was being with him and had two babies by him, nobody was over there messing with you and telling you what you shouldn't and shouldn't do. So leave me to be stupid like I left you to be stupid or other people left you to be stupid while you was dealing with him. Yes, he is still working in favor of my life. Yes, eventually he will be. So to me, this is like him coming home, period. I don't care how you, I don't care who say, oh, it's just home visits. Home visits usually happen when the baby about to go home when, when your baby in the system. So to me, that's like he about to come home. Like if he wasn't about to come home, they wouldn't be doing home visits. That's like regressing. I am so excited though, y'all. I just thought I'd report the good news. I'm still going to do these two videos. The other one is going to be on premiere. 
because it's a good news video and I was excited, just like I was excited to come on here and go live, I'm going to premiere the other one for those who have not gotten the good news or didn't tune into the live. Thank you, Gillian. Thank you. I'm so pumped. I can't stop smiling. Like, I'm so ready to have him in my home and give him his own stuff and lay him in his bassinet over there and buy him. Man, I'm about to spend $300 on this um, thing for him. It's a it's a mama rule. I've been dying to spend the money on that. I paid my whole credit card off to make sure I could get it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Yep, I'm about to get him that mama root. And I'm definitely going to do that Amazon list that y'all been asking me about. Some of y'all asked me to do one, so I'm going to do it. I just, um, I think I'm going to wait until the home visits actually start. Because then I'll know for sure that it's a go. And then I'll start the Amazon list. Because I don't want him to get too big if y'all want to buy him clothes. And then, you know, he's growing and the home visits don't start till next month or something. But yeah. And I also want to open anything that somebody sent me on live to say thank you. So I don't want to do it without being able to, you know, be thankful for what, what, what was gifted to me. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah, he is adorable. His facial expressions are so cute. But it's crazy because he be looking so angry like a little angry grown man. Hey, Queen Slay, how are you? Um, he is four months. He just turned, um, four months on the 4th. He was born December 4th. So he just turned four months. Oh, thank you, Missy. I'm glad I could do that for you. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, y'all. So yesterday I did a video. I just didn't post it yet. Um, I edited it, but when I posted it, even though it was on private, it said that the music in the background was copyright. So I got to change the music in the background. And if I can't find something I like, then I'll just post it without the music. But I think it, it, it brings more interest to put music behind it. Oh, your birthday, December 6th. Yeah, I never thought I would be having a December baby. I got to know. His sister is born November the 24th, so it's like November, December. I'm like, wow, two winter babies. And they both got the same mom and dad. They both full blood. So, yeah, I'm probably about to get off here in a minute. I just wanted to come give y'all some good news. <laughs> Shania, um catch you up okay sorry y'all if i'm repeating myself but when people won't come in and i and ask for the catch up i try to give it real quick but the baby is going to be doing home visits soon and maybe three weeks from now maybe a month from now because children's services is short staffed by 23 people but he's going to be doing home visits and getting used to his home so he's going to be doing home visits for three nights a week and then it'll turn into uh, three nights a week for, for three hours and then four hours and then overnight. And then, um, oh, yeah, it's a good stream. I'm going to keep it up. And so what I'm going to do is um, basically I'm just... I'm just waiting. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is a, like an intensive parenting class, but they're hands on. So you have to have the baby for them to come in your home three days a week and be with the baby. And um, it's a wait list. So the guardian Malata was like, man, you're a wonderful mom. I really don't want to make you wait while the wait list, because the wait list could be six months to a year. And what are we going to do? Keep the baby for a year and not do home visits? We can't do that. That's not fair to you or the child. And the child is an infant and he needs as much time as possible. So we're going to go ahead and start the home visits. But for right now, they're still going to be at the visitation twice a week until, um, yes, y'all some prayer warriors because y'all was praying. Hi, Life with Lacey. Jesus, hi. Hey, K Solo. You late? I feel like I got to repeat it two more times. Did you get the news or did you did you watch it from the beginning or did you get the news? Because I, I don't care. It's good news. I'll repeat it. 
I'll repeat anything that's good news. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Carmel, for the win for seven. I hope you're along for the journey. Okay, you can rewind. <laughs> I don't mind repeating it, but you can rewind. Um. Oh, yeah, something else I wanted to tell y'all. Um, thank you for the hugs. I appreciate that. Uh, something else I wanted to tell y'all. I want to start my mommy vlogging journey with him, but I'm not sure if I can do that with the visitation being in my home. I think I need to wait until like, like maybe if I get the weekend unsupervised and I have him for the weekend before he goes back to his foster mom. Well, hi, it's Kaylin. Um, thank you. <laughs> if I get to um, have him for the weekend where there's nobody here during the weekend, then I'll start my mommy um, vlogging then. But I don't want to do it while social workers are watching me at my house. And it would feel a little bit awkward. Thank you. <laughs> I did the gold strings and the decals myself, but the braids I didn't do. Somebody else did those. I paid like $200 for that. Thank you. Yes, he will. He will. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Queen Slay. You got nine. Whew. You got your hands full. Thank you. You like my hair? Gold was the thing today. I had to do the gold earrings and the, the gold necklace, and I just wore all black to court. Hi, it's Kaylin Velen Aspen. Hello, Eli. Yeah, so you want to be a um like a first base foster parent. Like the first when they first get them took, and then you waiting for the mom to get them back and reunite with them. I don't know what K-pop brown is, stray kids. Oh, hi, Bethany. <laughs> No, not I just don't have a lot of edges. No, my hair is not missing. I have very thin, fine hair, and I just, you know, I don't care. I got thin edges and very fine hair. I'm not half my hair missing. Now she said half my hair was missing, child. That's nice to know how I just, um... Yeah, I see the trolls coming. What's up? Thank you, Bethany. Did I get my kids taken? In the past, I did. Ooh. Somebody got timed out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see them trolls. Court went really good. I'm I'm I got moved to home visits, but um they won't start till probably a couple weeks, anywhere from a couple weeks to a month. Um thank you, um, Grace. Yes, rebuke them, rebuke them. <laughs> Any more kids later? No, I don't want no more kids. I got my tubes tied because I just knew I was going to have him and be able to raise him. And just a whole bunch of misfortune started happening. Hi, e Eloise, Car e Eloise Carter. Stephanie, hello. Why you say, say Mia, say Mia? But I'm probably, yeah, going to get off here in a second. Um... But yeah, I just came to give good news, y'all. And I got some videos coming out, too. One, I edited yesterday, but they said it was copyright, so I got to redo the music or find the right music for it. I probably won't put it out to Tuesday, and then the other one will be following Tuesday. And it, I'll, I'll premiere it for those who didn't get the news here on the live or watch the live back. I'm still going to place it out because that's been sitting in the queue for two months. Yes, karma for the win. Amen. Yeah, I have to be honest. No, I'm not pregnant. I already had him. He's four months now. I'm fighting to get him back. 
and making big progress and he's on his way home. Yes, I know. I actually, um, Life with Lacey, I actually featured your, I actually featured your comment about Prayer Warrior in the video that's coming up for Tuesday. So I was thinking how y'all were being prayer warriors for me and how y'all were being so positive. And I popped up about like three different comments. So yeah, your your comment got featured in my, um. I say, I know who my subscribers is. Oh, thank you for subbing, Jack. Thank you, Devin. Hi, thank you. I'm just so happy, y'all. It's almost over. Yes, pool water, you may sub. Hi, Laurel's World. I'm about to get off. I'm about to, I'm going to stop at like an hour. Hello. Does anybody have any questions or anything? I ain't never just went free live, free will like this. I normally um, talk to my moderator on one of my other moderators on um, Instagram and let her know. Uh, we was talking about the good news. Thank you, thank you. We were talking about the good news. Baby is coming home for home visits. And it may be a while from now. It hasn't started yet, but that's the... I like YouTube, yeah. That's why I do it. Uh, my other children are grown. So they won't be coming to live with me. They're grown. And that's why I had another baby because um, they were grown and I wanted to reclaim my motherhood. And the plan was to wait till they were grown to have another one. Oh, you used to work for children's services in the UK? Oh, man. So, and that's another thing that people are confused about. They're like, why did you have another baby knowing you got your other three kids took? First of all, I had visitation and I've been a part of their life. And then second of all, I waited until they were grown. I didn't just have babies. They're not, they're not, um, they're not, uh, minors anymore. Oh, how long do my braids take? About an hour and a half because my hair is so thin and I have a small head. They're 17 and 18, and my 15-year-old is with her dad and I, and then Ezekiel, who we're fighting for. Oh, yo, you just got braids? Oh, you work for children's services? Yeah, our children's services is short-staffed, so I understand why they're short-staffed. Yeah, my other two are grown. They're 17. And, well, you might as well say they're 18 and 19 because she finna be 18 in August and he finna be 19 in July. Did I go to church? No, I need to find the church. Mine took an hour and a half, probably less than that because I have a small head and my hair is very, very thin. Yeah, social services is they're not fun people to deal with. They they July twentieth. July twentieth. Mm-hmm. I've been doing these braids. I've been doing these braids. It's I can't say it's really a favorite style. It's just a style so I don't have to do my hair. And then I'm about to start doing wigs because the way that I've been getting my hair braided is thinning my hair out more. So when I take these out, I think I'm going to be doing lace from here on out for a little while until, you know. Oh, you're um, July the 19th. I got a sister who was born July the 10th, but she passed away. Oh, how long will the home visits be? They'll be for three days a week and uh, three hours to start off with each day each day of the week that they are. And then they'll go to four hours for three days a week and then they'll just turn into overnight. Do I have an afro? I actually don't. I have very thin and fine hair. 
So when I take my hair out, um, it's just thin. Hi, Royal D. I know I was going to text you, but I just did this live by surprise. These are my nails. Whoever said, can they see my nails? These are my nails. Hey. Did you get the good news, Royal D? Hi, hi Brogan's channel. I'm about to get off in a minute. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, I got my feel out in on the east side where I live at. Mm-hmm. Y'all are some, y'all, yeah, it's Charles in here. Oh, for my, okay, so you heard about my book, huh? So this young lady, I forgot her name, but she did send me an email about uh, where to get my books edited. So... Um, I don't know when I'm putting the book out, but, um, I'm definitely going to finish writing it. Oh, you're live, but in your chat. Okay. Got you. How do I get my hair beautiful like this? Um, this lady, she braid. Her name is Nicole. I think you guys will be seeing me last slime you need to be timed out or something um royal d or k solo can y'all get him out of here yeah i have plenty of children and your mind shouldn't even be going there because somebody laying across their bed that's horrible you already did Dang, 86,000 seconds. How many minutes is that? I got to do some math for that. Yes, y'all. King Diamond Bones. It be the ones without no picture on a profile doing the most. How old is Samsung? What does that mean? They're here. One is in the chat, and I see K Solo being active. She's she's timing people out, so they're here. Two of them are. I think I got two more, or maybe one more. But people have schedules and things to do, so they can't always be everywhere at once. You you got a profile pic, but it don't look like a person, and it be the ones that them be the ones that troll. But run up the live, though. I ain't mad at it. So, 20 more minutes. Mm. I need to be getting off here making some calls about my home visit. Okay, King Diamond Bones. Why are you here being a troll? Make you a super mod? What does that mean? Let me see. Uh, How do I do that? Because you're doing it. You're doing your thing, so I should. How, tell me how to do it, K-Solo. I'm trying to click on your name. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 pin message. Hold on, let me remove you and then put you back. Hold on, K-Solo. Hold on. Let me go back, K-Solo. Just one moment. Let me try to add another moderator. I got you. So I did it. 
I made you super mod. They called it a managing moderator. So I unmoderated you and put you back as a mod, as a, what's the name? Um, it says standard and managing moderator. So I made you managing moderator instead of just moderator. Any more? I think we can tell because, yeah, y'all doing a lot. Yeah, it was only those two options, managing or just regular. <sighs> Ten more minutes and then I'm off here. But, yeah. So, y'all be looking forward to my video on Tuesday and my live. I, I don't know if I'm going to go live Saturday since I went live today. So, I think I'll just be posting videos. What is going on with y'all? Y'all got to chill out. Um, my Insta is, I feel like I don't want to say it because there's so many trolls in here. What happened at court? The baby is coming for, uh, home visits. What's a YTR? Oh, you're a YouTuber. You're trying to be like me. I'm sure you can do it. You sound like you could be a kid. <laughs> Oh, what is something that I may want to do with the baby when he come home? Uh, I want to basically showcase what I would do if he was home permanently so that I can actually bring him home. That's one thing I want to do. And then just, like, show them that I know how to be a mom for a newborn. like a zoo in a park, if I'm allowed to, I don't know if I could do those things, um, he's an infant, so I don't know if I could do those things, um, during a home visit, I would have to see, congratulations, thank you, Kayla, oh, am I, broken, chill, bro, no, I, I'm not a Swifty, but I like Taylor Swift's music, how about that, How do I get so many? I didn't know. I don't know how I got so many people watching. I just got on here one day, posted a video, and it got a lot of thousands of views, and then thousands of people started subscribing. I don't know how I got there. I just, I don't know. I, I really feel like YouTube's algorithm changed to something more decent because the way it was hard. Thank you, Cameron. Uh, Why can't he completely come home yet? Um... Because they want me to go through a um, in-home parenting intensive in-home parenting class. That's why. But um, they're going to do in-home visits while we're waiting. So that's why. But um, today I signed over. I signed him from emergency custody to, to temporary custody so that we wouldn't have to go through the psyche vial, which is totally false. And that way I could just do, um, the, start the in-home visits. Okay. Thank you. Dive, whatever your name is, you need to be put in timeout or something or blocked or something. Thank you, Annie Moore. So, yeah. Five more minutes and I'm, I'm gone. I only do an hour on live. I don't want to do too much. Thank you, Trinitine Badger. Yes, I'm very excited. I cannot wait. Like, literally cannot wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, you can make money off going live. You have to get your 4,000 hours and at least 1,000 uh, subscribers. They say you can do 3,000 hours now, but when I got 3,000 hours, my money button didn't pop up till I hit that last 1,000 hours. So... I guess I'll play with the trolls for a moment. What's my favorite food? Um, seafood. Do I have a twin? I don't know. 
Um, the braider who did it, did it. I don't know, no. she just picked out the color for me. It's actually not just blue, it's blue, yellowish, greenish. It's all kind of stuff. Thank you, Ronald. Please say my name. Hi, Marley Radcliffe. What does that do for y'all? It'd be a lot of trolls. Like, can you just say my name? Can you say hi? Like, who does that? Hello, y Yahara. Oh, how many days am I allowed to do visits with him? It um, It's going to be the two days that I already have for three hours. And then they're going to add an extra day. Because they feel like I need an extra day with the baby. Yeah, I was thinking of that life with Lacey. I was like, since everybody's asking me to set up this Amazon, how about I just do uh, like a, a welcome home party and we set up to do like where people can um, send him things and I just open them online with the baby, sitting them on my lap or sitting them in his little chair or whatever. And y'all can see him like a, like, you know what they would call a sip and see? I'm gonna call it a live and see where people are able to meet him on live in real time and be able to see and meet him on live. I think that'd be dope. And then I don't know if you can premiere a live, but I could premiere it like up to the first and then two or three hours. I think you can only uh, premiere up to like three days or something. So I y'all giving me ideas. <laughs> Generic YouTuber, yeah, you need blocked. You doing too much. Y'all need to be on them gamers channels because I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Virtual baby shower, yes. No anymore. I can tell you a kid, but my daughter likes Takis. Okay, Danny Repass, you troll pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you, Laura Thompson. I'm just responding to the trolls, too. Can you have a shout out? What's your name? Boba. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. I got a sister named Charlotte. She passed away in 2018. Hi, Silky Black. Everybody trolling, but it's okay. <laughs> I just speak to him. Hi, um, Honesty LaQ. Hi, Basketball God. Um, Brogan's channel, you just keep saying slay. We can tell you a troll, too. And a kid. But I'm, um, let's see, one minute... I'll be getting off. Janaya G. Um, ah, oh, everybody asking for the update again. Um, the baby's gonna be doing in home visits three times a week for three hours. It's gonna go from three hours to four hours, or maybe like an extra day out the week, or both. Um, and then it's gonna turn into overnight. So that's the good news. When I'm not gonna talk about that little bro. Thank you. All right. Well, thank y'all for tuning into this live. I will talk to you guys later. And I appreciate you guys showing up. We're gonna be planning this little virtual shower for y'all to see him, and I can open up gifts from you guys. We're gonna plan that. I just gotta know what what's gonna happen. Can you do a cooking vlog? I love hearing about your journey. I think you can grow more doing a lot in a day in life, but maybe cook off with your daughter. Yeah, I could do that. I just got to get things in order first. We got to work on getting my son home, and I can definitely do that. I'm, trust me, I'm going to venture off into doing something else. That's, that's a promise because I don't want it to be all about my adversity. I want to go from adversity to, okay, that adversity is over. What can I offer the channel now? So, most definitely. But I will see you guys. I think you guys will see a video from me Tuesday next. So, I probably won't go live this Saturday because I'm making up for I'm doing it early, which I just wanted to get this good news out. 
Um, I only go live on Saturdays, but I, when I got good news, I may go live or do a video early. So I decided to do this live early and, um, I will see you guys on Tuesday. All right.